Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to um, the St. George's Church. Um, my name is um, the Father Taming. I'm the vicar here in this parish, the parish of St. George Enfield, um, based in Frizy Water. This is our um, the thoughts for the night. Um, let me see um, who will actually um, log in um, today. Ah. Let's see. Anyone? I don't see. Oh, Rebecca. Good evening, Rebecca. Ronnie, Maureen, <laughs> some other people. Oh, Kathy, good evening, welcome. Ah, now I'm back in the church again. Um, yes, um, uh, Rebecca says, uh, and then Leslie, um, good evening, Leslie. <laughs> How's your family? Is the family well? I'm sure. Um, it was a yes, we are okay. <laughs> Good evening, Judith, Trace, Emma, all welcome. Welcome our lovely, not gang, lovely saints. <laughs> Let's use a Pauline theology here. <laughs> Good evening, welcome saints, um, you know, to um, the St. George's Church. Um, well, how was your day? Was, was it okay? All good, thanks, Leslie. That's good. Um, good. Um, yes, the magic number six. <laughs> good evening, Chica. Um, welcome. Um, how are the boys? Are the boys well? Oh, gosh. I'm sure the old boys are now gone back to a school. Um, bet, um, gone back to a bit more um, normality. Yeah, but, you know. Yes, on um, the Monday, finally. Um, one of those days. Um, <laughs> One day I was, um, I begin my day um, sitting in front of my, um, you know, my laptop and doing lots of zooms, zoom, 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 zoom. Good evening, Val, um, you know, Violet, um, good to see you again, welcome. <laughs> yes, so um, Monday was quite, you know, a busy, a busy morning. Um, um, f well, actually, I'll tell you what. Um, oh, good evening, Susan, um, welcome. Um, many of you will know that we have parish school. St. George's, Freezy Water St. George's um, you know, Primary School. That is our parish school. It's um, um, one form entry um, you know, primary school. Um, we have a very strong um, Christian ethos, um, and we do a collective worship, and we, we're not just doing it for the sake of doing it. We, we value um, you know, so much about that, um, you know, that time. But because of this you know, COVID-19, it's impossible for us to have the Monday collective worship um, with all the children and all the staff members in the school hall. For example. So, um, head teacher asked me to provide some um, video materials. Good evening, Lynn. Um, good evening, my wife. Um, welcome. Sharon, welcome. Yes, welcome. So, um, I had to actually make a video the collective worship video, but the recording time was in the evening, by the way, so I had to say, um, good morning, everybody, but that was in, <laughs> that was in the evening. Um, yeah, so, but I, I created that video, I dropped that um, the memory stick um, to the school um, this morning, and then I heard, um, you know, from um, the head teacher's um, the computer in her office, she played that, and then streamed that video to Hall School. So that was a simultaneously, um, there was a you know, collective worship controlled by the central, and then we used a wonderful technology. So that, I was very impressed. Um, but anyway, that's what happened um, in the morning, um, but I was, I can't be there, so uh, I couldn't be there, and then that's why I had to make um, you know, the video. And then um, now I'm trying to have some, you know, my day off on Mondays, because um, it's something that I do. So um, what, Monday morning was quite busy until 12.30, until one o'clock, absolutely busy. And then the afternoon, I did some you know, the work, and then in the evening, um, we had our PCC meeting. And of course, you know, that's, um, we, we did a PCC meeting through the Zoom. So without Zoom, what can we do? What can we do, Lord, without Zoom? Oh, by the way, it's Copwell. <laughs> so um, it was okay. Um, we updated, um, you know, a couple of things. You know, our pieces of members are very um, interactive in a way, and then they are all good. So um, we had a very good time, 
and I had to actually go to the parish office because my home, the uploading speed is not that good. So um, download speed is okay, but if I actually do a Zoom, if I have to host the Zoom, uh, my home internet is not good. So I had to actually go up to um, parish office and I use the parish office computer and I did a um, PCC meeting. So I just finished a um, PCC meeting about um, 40 minutes ago, so I had to actually clear that one. Um, good evening, Carol and Ron. Probably. So I had to come here straight away and then I had no time to prepare my lovely um, you know, the PowerPoint. So I have to say this first, no PowerPoint today. It doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Good evening, Hannah. I'm going to sing, but um, I'm going to, I picked a very easy one, um, something that you know, or something that you can follow easily, because there is a set format, and then what you need to do is a change, you know, some parts. So it's going to be easy. Well, you will see later. But anyway, um, I set up this, you know, the live streaming, um, and then, as you can see, I decided to bring... Um, this is mine, um, the lovely crucifix here. Why, suddenly, why? Um, because today is what we call um, the Holy Cross Day, the exaltation of the cross. And then you will remember um, what I said um, the last time when I was doing the live streaming in this church. I was um, the walking around the church like a ghost. <laughs> we have ghosts called George here. <laughs> oh, not in the church, in the hall. Um, I was walking around and I realized that there is a lovely shade. We have a big um, kind of, you know, um, the cross, bronze cross there. And then because of these lightings, it's a symmetry call. And then I had a shade on the left and then on the right hand side corner. So I could see lovely three crosses there. And I uploaded that photo on our Facebook page. So please go in and have a look. It's just a search post and you will find. And then um, that was a something about, uh, you know, the cross. And then actually today is um, the Holy Cross Day. The Holy Cross Day, we remember what happened on the cross. It's all about cross. Yeah, Holy Cross Day. Yeah, what do you expect? Holy Cross Day is all about the cross. And as I mentioned it, and as you know, the cross was the symbol of death and penalty. Those who were hung on the cross were, they, they, they were criminals. And then for certain people, our Lord, you know, Jesus was a criminal, and therefore he was hung on the cross. But for those who believe, for those who believe, for those who have faith, you know, cross is not the sign of death or defeat or pain or the passion only because Jesus died on the cross and then overcame the death and suddenly the cross became becomes a symbol of hope and eternal life which will completely change everything now i think that is a that is a wonderful thing so i i decided to keep this lovely wooden crucifix here and i decided to light the candle here so that you can see and I just try to make a good angles. I hope um, you feel good to see this. <laughs> so um, yes, that's that's um, you know why I have this you know that cross just next to me. So, well, tonight I really want you um, to all of you, and then um, for those who are watching um, you know our live streaming now, and, and of course you know as you know for those who may watch this video on our Facebook or on my YouTube channel later, um, I'd love to actually ask you to have a moment of quietness and then think about the meaning of cross. Jesus offered himself on the cross. What can we offer? Do you have anything that you can offer to to God? Of course, you know, um, if you can say, well, I will give myself to, um, holy to God, that is fantastic. That is a very saintly, um, you know, um, thing for us to do. But you may say, well, actually, I have um, a certain things that I can offer to, to God. I have 
in the time to pray so I can offer some prayers, not only for myself, but for the benefit of the world or benefit of um, my church community, whatever. You may say, well, actually, um, I can actually do something because um, I'm very good at doing certain things. And then if there is anything that I can do for a church, well, I'm more than happy to give this my talent and my time and my love towards God through this church or your own church, if you're watching somewhere in the, in the world. Or you may simply say, well, I haven't got anything, but, you know, there must be something, and then I really want to actually develop my certain things, and then I really love to do something in the future for the church. It doesn't need to be um, money or check or, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So tonight, I think um, it's a good time for us to think about not what we received, yeah? not what we received, not what God already gave to us. Rather, I would like to encourage you to think about what you can give to him. I, yeah, I, what can I give? What can I give to to God, um, I, yeah, what do you think I can give to, to God? I think um, doing this, you know, the live streaming is, is um, obviously is one of the things that I can do for the glory of God, well, actually for you, and then if I do something for you, that means all, that's obviously clear, isn't it? I do it for you and then for the church. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but I, I, yes, what I think we all must have some gifts. And I would love to actually encourage you to develop that. You know, Ron, I, just, I can say that Ron is just, you know, um, to log in. For example, you know, Ron and, you know, Carol Beckwith, you know, they're actually doing lots of, you know, um, parish work, you know, like other uh, volunteers, you know. Um, Lynn is um, here, um, you know, tonight, for example, Dave Jenner. It's not um, online, I think, um, it's on his holiday. And then many of you, um, for example, who are coming um, to the church on Tuesday morning um, for the gardening, you just offer your time and, and physical help for your church. I think that's a wonderful thing. But I think it, I'm sure that you must have some gift. Tonight, I'd love to encourage you to find out and then to have that gift or gifts in your heart and in your brain and trying to find the right moment to use that. Don't just hold your gift in your heart and are not using it, that's a wasting of your time and energy and, and your gifts. You must use it. Yeah? So try to find out the best way for you to use it. Yeah? Just, to, just to think about it. Yeah. Just to think about it. Yeah, um, yes. You know, my wife just um, you know, um, put some you know, lyrics I will bring a lamb if I worship. Did I just sing a Christmas carol? Oh, too early. <laughs> but anyway, I'm I'm sure um, you understand what I'm talking about. So um, yeah, <laughs> don't say anything about the Christmas. But by the way, how many days to go? The last time when I mentioned it, some of you, I think um, you know, some of you actually Googled it and then gave me how many days to go to the Christmas, and then that was 147 days something to go to the Christmas. If you can just um, count it, if you just Google it, and just give, give me some, <laughs> some information. I just, curiosity, curiosity. But, um, yeah, whatever happens in the world, I know it's a magic number, it's not, a lucky number is not a seven anymore, it's a magic number six, you know, um, yeah. The things are a bit, you know, wobbly, and then for those who live in the Enfield area, now it's the time for us to worry a bit, you know, oh, the numbers in Enfield is going up. 
but still. I, Hannah, I don't know, 120 days? I have no idea. Someone must give me an answer. <laughs> but even if we feel, um, yes, outside the world is a bit, you know, ooh, I don't, but still, 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 we know that God is with us. So he is with us. And it's a time for us to respond to his generosity. So that's my um, humble wish um, to all of you. <laughs> humble request for you to do. Okay, if you just, well, if you're already in your bed, that's okay. Judith, 102 days. Gosh, in the three days, that is going to be only two digits. 99 days to go. Today is 102 days to go until Christmas. Gosh, time flies. Oh, scary, scary. I hope we can do some proper Christmas with my mulled wine. <laughs> oh, by the way, for those who don't know my mulled wine, I love mulled wine. One of my friends, he's also a priest, he said, oh, I don't like you know the mulled wine. So why I ask? Oh, Father, why? Oh, he said, why you ruin the good wine? <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I, oh, I got the message. But still, I love mulled wine. I love to share my mulled wine with all of you. I, yeah. So, yeah, who knows? No one knows what happened. But, um, well, today, um, it's a Holy Cross day. So we remember, um, you know, what Jesus did on the cross. And at the same time, I encourage you to think about your own gifts. What can I give? Yeah, I will stop here. Otherwise, I'll end up singing the Christmas carols now. <laughs> okay. Um, is there anyone who celebrates, um, you know, um, the birthday today? It's a wonderful day. I wish my birthday was um, one of these wonderful saints' day or the special day like that. But my, my birthday um, is, um, there's no saints you know, specific, you know, the large, big saints' day. But I think... Um, Someone, kind of a hymn writer um, a long time ago, yeah, I think I shared that is my special day for that. But, you know. but is there anyone who was, who were born, who was born on the Holy Cross Day? <laughs> you must have your middle name as Cross. <laughs> but anyway, is there anyone who celebrated a birthday? Just let me know so that I can, well, not me, we can sing the happy birthday to that birthday boy or birthday girl. It doesn't really matter how old you are, but you know, just give me some names on there, okay? So that we can sing a um, birthday song together. Otherwise, I will um, you know, um, sing um, the song that I picked um, for tonight. And then um, the song that I'm going to sing tonight is a very easy one. Um, I think I sang um, this one once or twice. Um, and then it is um, something about healing. I think I mentioned um, this, you know, you are the God that healeth me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. And then that's the first verse. And the second verse is, I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. That's the first one. And then... Worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy. Again, worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Yeah, that, that's an easy one. That's, that's, that's an easy one. So, worthy, you are worthy, and the second verse is holy, you are holy, and the third one is Jesus, you are Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords. We worship our Lord, who were on the cross. But anyway, so I'm going to sing this one. But I didn't see any names to, um, for us to sing the, um, the happy birthday. So I'm going to go for um, this um, the song. But again, as I said, for those who just joined us, tonight I have no PowerPoint because I had no time to prepare that. So, sorry, you have to actually keep watching me singing. But, you know, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. Look at the cross. Look at the cross and look at the Jesus. Look. Yeah, you know where to look, not me, there. But I, 
I can't really disappear from this you know, screen because Mike is there. <laughs> you are the God that he lead thee. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. I am the God that he lead thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Worthy, you are worthy. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy. Worthy, you are worthy. King of of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Holy, you are holy. Holy, you are holy. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are holy. Jesus, Jesus, you are Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. You are the God that he lead thee, you are the Lord. Shall we say some um, you know, prayers? Let us pray. Almighty God, who in the passion of your blessed Son made an instrument of a painful death to be for us the means of life and peace, grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer for his sake. 
who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And O God, from whom all holy desires and all good counsels and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Enlighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this light. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And shall we say um, the grace together? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Ah, now, um, this is the end. Um, oh, by the way, <laughs> as I was singing, <laughs> um, I think it's Hannah, isn't it? Hannah, it's, it's you. Um, Hannah said, maybe it's a Jimmy Jam Jar's birthday. <laughs> so, well, do you know actually when is um, the Jimmy Jam Jar's, you know, the birthday? Is there anyone who have any, any idea? <laughs> I think to celebrate the Holy Cross Day and, and um, to keep, um, you know, the Father Vince, who is a very good friend of Jimmy Jam Jar, and in our, um, to, to hold him in our prayers, um, shall we say um, the happy birthday um, song to, um, to um, Jimmy Jam Jar? Yeah? How does it sound? Do you think it's too much? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> We'll see. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jimmy Jam Jar. Who cares? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have stopped. <laughs> oh, actually, I was, um, oh, I think, well, who knows? <laughs> but anyway, um, we, we, sing happy, we, we sing happy birthday to cheer that person up. So Jimmy Jemjar and all related friends, close friends within that bubble and the magic number six, including Father Vince, <laughs> we would like to cheer them up. Anyway, my br brothers and sisters, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a time for me um, to say um, good night and, and God bless you all. And then again, as I said, oh, stop saying something about Jimmy Jam Jar. <laughs> and then, as I said, um, tonight, you don't need to um, um, pray for others tonight. It is more like um, you and God. So again, as I said, think about what you can give to him. Okay? I'll say good night. This is Father Taming from St. George's Church in Freezing Water. Good night all. God bless you. <laughs>